Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing um, a candle video. Um, I got a request a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, to do a video about my favorite candles and kind of combine it with a haul and stuff. So um, I actually purchased some candles at Bath & Body Works about two-ish weeks ago, um, maybe a little bit less. Um, and I wanted to show you what I got and then I also wanted to show you um, where I keep my candles. Currently it's like it's usually up here on this um, dresser thing, but these are all the candles that I'm going to put up there that I just bought, so I will put those up there soon. And um, I also have a drawer back here that I keep candles that um, are either like out of season or that I'm just not like currently wanting to burn or things that are burned down so much that um, I need to do something with the containers. <laughs> so I will show you that also, but I'm going to just show you what I got first at Bath & Body Works. Um, uh, like I've mentioned before, I only buy candles at Bath & Body Works when they are two for 20. I refuse to pay $19.50 for one of these, um, so I always get the two for 20. So I got six, um, the last time I went, and so yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into them. The first one, um, they have this new, I can't remember what it's called, it's like Boardwalk, maybe, line of candles for the summer. It's like beachy, um, but the first one I got is called Oceanside. And it just looks like this um, on the front. And I haven't burned any of these. This one, I'm so terrible at describing scents. So what I'm just going to do is read the description down here and then kind of give you what I think of it. So this one says, Refreshing as a long getaway to the ocean. Watery greens and cucumber blend deliciously with juicy melon and peony petals. Um, I can definitely smell the greens and a little bit of the cucumber, but to me, this just smells like fresh laundry and recently I've just been into really fresh scents like um I like things that are scented that are I mean I like I like the normal scents of candles and like the fruity stuff and everything but like recently I've just been into really fresh scents and this just smells like laundry to me so I love this one the next one from that collection is called Beach Cabana And um, this one says, relax in the cool shade with sweet jasmine, orange blossom, and a hint of musk. And I definitely smell the musk in this. I don't know if I smell, I mean, I kind of smell the jasmine. But this one to me is like, it's another clean scent, but it isn't um, as sharp as the ocean side, if that makes any sense. Sharp. It's not as like pinpoint I don't know how to explain it it's not it doesn't hit the nostrils as <laughs> sharply as this one or as that one does so I like this one as well and then another one that I got that I already have purchased before that is probably my favorite scent so far probably in the last two to three months when I was really burning this is white palm and this came out um a couple months ago with the other collection they had that was more beachy scents like this and this one again is like a fresh scent. It smells just like spring to me. It smells kind of like a mixture of fresh grass and just like a really nice laundry scent. I know I've, sorry, I, I told you I'm bad at this. Um, the description is like a warm Caribbean breeze, refreshing white palm leaves and dewy greens combined perfectly with sweet peach blossoms. I don't smell the peach in this at all to be quite honest. Um, I smell the greens. Um, I guess it's the white palm leaves. It just smells so good. I just I just can't describe it. But these three are like the really clean, fresh scents that I really, really love. Um, the next, this is a little different, is the Poppy Sunshine. And I think this one is new for this season so far. Um, it may have been out before, but like um, they hadn't brought it out until recently. And this is just um, a red one. I love the colors on this. I always love the pictures that they have. And the description on this is a luscious burst of red poppies on a sunny day with sparkling lemon, sweet red raspberry, and a touch of white musk. I definitely smell the raspberry in this one. Not so much the lemon. This one kind of smells like, um, it definitely smells floral, but it also kind of has like a light candy-ish scent. Um, like if you were to take something that was like red raspberry candy and just tone it down like 
five or ten notches. You can still smell it, still smells sweet. So I like this one. It's not too overpowering. And then the next one is Verbana, Verbana, Verbena Waters. I kept saying Verbana, oops. Verbena Waters. Um, so pretty. It says, a refreshing splash of springtime with bright citrus and blooming verbena infused with watery peach and rich sandalwood. I can kind of smell the peach in this one. Um, I definitely smell the sandalwood. But it just kind of smells like spring and summery. Um, I don't know. I just am so bad with describing scents. Um, but I really like this one. Again, not too overpowering. And then the last one is one that I just saw on the website. And I just wanted because I don't have a candle like this. And I thought the colors were really pretty. And yeah. So this is the Honeysuckle Candle. And I... Ooh, there's like hair on this. Um, I just really love the color of this. It looks a little orangey yellow, um, more orange on camera than it really is, but it's like a nice creamy yellow, maybe with a little bit of orange, and yellow is one of my favorite colors, so I love this. Um, just smells like honey. I love it. <laughs> um, the description is, on a walk through a secret garden, sweet honeysuckle intertwines with pink peony, freesia, and a touch of creamy vanilla. And I definitely smell the freesia in this as well. I don't know that I smell the vanilla, but maybe when it burns, maybe when all of these burn, I'll just get a little hint of everything that's listed in them. Um, so I really like this one. Um, it's just really pretty, and I i don't have a honey candle. I've never had a honey candle. <laughs> so yeah, so this is it for the haul. Um, I'm going to set everything up, and then I will be back with you guys. Okay, so this is where um, I store the candles that I like recently am burning or that are my new purchases. Um, these are just the candles I just showed you. Um, I just keep them on this um, dresser type thing where they're up kind of high. Um, there's my clothes basket. Um, and I just have a couple picture frames up here, um, nothing too fancy. This is just a um, jewelry tree that I am kind of housing for one of my friends while she's gone for the summer um, but I plan on getting one myself because I really like it so um, there's really no rhyme or reason as to how I store these I'm not like a super color coordinated person with these um, I just kind of like to have it open because when I do burn a candle I like to kind of keep it like if I were to be burning this one I like to keep it um, right in the center and have it burning so it's not like right buy any picture frames or anything and it doesn't catch anything on fire um, and then I just usually set um, the lid over here um, just to keep it off of the actual top to the dresser and one tip I can give you <laughs> if you're going to be burning candles is um, keep it away from things that could catch fire so like me I just don't keep them like super super close to the picture frames and don't like spray hairspray or any kind of aerosol um, near where you're burning candles because it is a super volatile substance and it can catch fire super quickly. So I'm in my like bedroom area. I never spray hairspray in here or I hardly ever spray hairspray in here simply because I don't want to catch anything on fire. I do it all in my bathroom. So that's just a little rundown of where I keep my stuff and now I will show you where I store um, the rest of my candles. Okay so this is just um, a small little um, mini dresser thing that I have. It's just got two um, drawers and this is where I keep my candles and um, I just I just kind of store them in different sections so along the back like right here are candles that are out of season for me so I only burn them like during the winter or fall this one is spice um, then I also have tis the season which is almost done and winter night and then I've got a couple of small ones and these I didn't purchase myself these were gifts because I only purchased the large ones this is um, Spice Cider, which oh, smells so good. This is definitely a fall scent that I burn all the time. And then there's Cinnamon Roll, which it looks kind of cool. It actually looks like there's frosting in there, so that's cool. Um, those are more like wintry 
or fall scents that um, I use. Then over here I just have um, scents that um, are kind of in season but I'm not burning right now. Um, so there's sea spray which is almost gone. There is mango cilantro which I really liked in the store but I'm not too certain about it so I haven't learned that one too much. Drenched apple flower. I have two of these as backups because this was my favorite, absolute favorite scent during um, the earlier spring months. So I have two of these as backup. And then I have Seaside Escape, which this one is just burning at its own pace and own style, I guess. It's all messed up inside. The wicks are all kind of crazy. So I've got to get that one under control. And then I just have two really itty bitty ones that um, I got as a gift for Christmas. There's candied sugar plum and gingerbread. And I just haven't burned these because they're, I think the cases are plastic and I'm kind of afraid they're going to catch on fire. So we'll see about that. And then there's black amethyst, which I haven't really burned too much. Um, I don't remember when I got this one, but this is kind of an um, every time scent, I just don't burn it that much. And over here, I just have candles that are pretty much burned down to where I can't use them anymore. And I need to do something with them for storage. So I have sage cucumber, which is pretty much all spent. Um, the wicks won't light anymore. I have leaves, which is, if I had to choose my absolute favorite scent from Bath and Body Works, um, I burn this all the time in the fall and winter. I love this one. Then there's coconut water, which I just finished burning a couple weeks ago. Um, it really just smells like coconut. I love it. Then there is um, Tis the Season, so that's another one um, like over in that corner. Um, it's just pretty much done burning. There's the green grass, which this one smelled so good. It just smells so fresh. It literally smells like freshly cut grass. Then drenched apple flower, like... I showed you it's all gone I have two backups and getting towards the back here white palm which is the one that I showed you earlier in the hall um, this is all burnt up and then the last one is gingham apple and this really just smells like apples I love it um, so that's it for the storage um, Looking in this drawer, it kind of looks like I have a ridiculous amount of stuff, but um, like I said, I only burn them um, like certain times during the year, most of them. Some I have like fall and winter scents, then I have like spring and summer scents, um, and then I just need to get rid of the wax, the extra wax in these here, and use them as storage. So that's it for my candle video. Um, I just showed you the hall where I store my candles, like where I keep them up here, and now they're finally up there. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them as a comment below or list your favorite candles um, in the comment below or if you really like Bath & Body Works or something like that. Um, as you can tell, I really only buy Bath & Body Works candles and I only buy them on sale. I refuse to pay the full price for them. Um, but if there are any other candle brands or something that you think I should uh, check out, then you can also leave that below in a comment. Um, I'm always interested to see or to have new scents. I always... I feel like I'm constantly burning something like as a scent in my room. So just keeps it nice and fresh and it just I feel like it kind of makes it like a little more homey. I don't know. That, maybe that's just me. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you do videos or if you have done um, a candle video or something or even a candle collection, then you can leave that as a video response below. I'm always interested to see um, what other people like. So um, I think that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.